Did you know that there was a world famous pottery potted and made and hand painted here in East Tennessee? That's just the case with Blue Ridge Pottery made in Irwin, Tennessee uh, prior to the 1950s. So what you're viewing here right now is uh, some pretty cool pieces of Blue Ridge Pottery. Yes and no, there's a couple mixed in different pieces of the same type of uh, style of pottery. But I want to tell you a little bit about that. Our store highlights quite a bit of Blue Ridge Pottery. We have a couple dealers who uh, deal heavily in Blue Ridge Pottery. So if you are a Blue Ridge Pottery collector, Clinchfield, uh, Cash Family, uh, any of those, if you are a collector of those, then you have got to check us out uh, at Back Porch Antiques. Uh, you can find us in Greenville, Tennessee. Uh, you can find us on this YouTube channel, so take this chance to like and subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel, uh, Instagram, Facebook, all of those sorts of things. You can find us and we list new things all the time. But if you're a Blue Ridge collector, uh, then you got to connect with us because we've got some good offerings for you. So what is Blue Ridge Pottery? Uh, Blue Ridge Pottery is specifically a pottery hand-painted, uh, specifically every piece is hand-painted, um, and then it's glazed after it's painted. A little bit about the process. Uh, these particular pieces uh, were made, um, they were, uh, well, they were potted um, in, in a casting scenario. At one time, um, the Blue Ridge Pottery Factory had 16 kilns and employed over a thousand people in the little town of Irwin, Tennessee. Uh, but they would make these blanks and they had uh, hand painters. Each of these particular pieces are hand painted uh, and they would paint them and then they would glaze over them so that they would be much more durable. It was a staple in household um, utensils, I guess, uh, in East Tennessee, especially in East Tennessee because of its uh, um, close relativity to Irwin, Tennessee. Uh, but before the plastics have kind of taken off, uh, in the 19, late 1950s, early 1960s, then it was this china top uh, cookware, dinnerware uh, that you used <clears throat> around the family table. And the Blue Ridge Pottery was full of wonderful colors and uh, was uh, very popular in that time. And because of its popularity then, it has become quite the popular uh, collectible nowadays. Um, so a little bit of a history there. Um, the Carolina, Clinchfield, and Ohio Railroad uh, established a hub in Irwin, Tennessee in the early 1900s around the turn of the century. Um, and they actually poured heavily into that community of Irwin, Tennessee to um, build that community up. Uh, in doing so, part of that was um, selling at a cheap cost and uh, developing through, I guess, a sideline support of um, what was then considered Clinchfield Potteries. Uh, and that's what it was called before it was Blue Ridge. It was Clinchfield Potteries uh, until 1920. Uh, in 1920, it was uh, bought out, uh, well, actually, at 1920, it was bought out by Clinchfield Pottery. Um, and in the late 20s, they started potting under the name of Blue Ridge Pottery. And that's what you see here, um, except for these pieces over here. Uh, these pieces here are post-Blue Ridge Pottery, but if you'll notice, they are the same type design and the same type um, artist work as what you see before me. All of this is Blue Ridge. This particular piece is Cash Family Pottery, uh, also known as a Betsy jug by its style. Um, this piece here, a pitcher, although the same style, it is a Clinchfield piece, not to be confused with Clinchfield potteries of the old days. Uh, this is the more modern Clinchfield piece which came after Blue Ridge Pottery closed in 1957. Uh, they auctioned off a lot of their, their kilns, their molds, and things like that, and there were some uh, individuals who bought them out. One of the most popular by today's collecting standards uh, is <clears throat> Nagatha Peterson. Nagatha, Nagatha, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, um, but she um, recently died probably within the past... I think within the past 10 years. Uh, but this is her work. Uh, she was employed by Blue Ridge Potteries, um, but she uh, went out on her own and did a more detailed uh, piece, and most of these were signed. If you look at this particular piece, it's signed on the bottom, and um, all of the Blue Ridge pieces uh, share characteristics, but 
Uh, most of them are signed. Uh, here's another good example of Blue Ridge Pottery being signed. Uh, that adds to the value um, of a particular piece, but we'll talk more specifically about pieces of pottery and designs uh, momentarily. But back to Miss uh, Peterson. Uh, she did uh, amazing work, and her pieces are extremely sought after today. Uh, we have this cookie jar here, uh, grandmother cookie jar. It has the famous apples and things on it. Uh, it is listed at $925 an hour store, uh, but it is an extremely rare piece, and most collectors, as you know, if you are a Blue Ridge collector, uh, really uh, kind of look for those sorts of pieces. Another one of those examples is what's called the turkey platter. There were very few of these made. This is the turkey platter. Uh, it is listed in our store at $225. Um, it is not a signed piece, but it is obviously a Blue Ridge piece, and uh, these are rare. They have that um, uh, Thanksgiving feel. They have that particular um, aura about them of the fall time. I don't know the specifics of the exact pieces, but I know there are some differences in the number of acorns that were painted. Um, some of those make them more valuable. Uh, I have vendors in my store who are experts. Um, if I can ever answer any of your questions, I can forward it to them, and I'm sure they can, uh, they can answer it for you. Uh, here is another what's called a Betsy jug. If you'll see uh, the young lady there, she's just kind of enjoying life. Uh, and um, she is, her mold would be considered a Betsy jug. This is in the um, Blue Ridge tulip pattern. Notice the uh, signature on the bottom. One thing I want to point out is that on the earlier <clears throat> pieces, it will say Blue Ridge China hand painted under glaze. Um, I, I don't want you to confuse China with being made in the country China. Uh, China is a pattern of, um, well, pieces of pottery. So this is China pottery. It has nothing to do with the country other than the fact that that sort of style originated there. Uh, this is a chocolate pot, and um, it would probably be used for a sort of fondue type uh, chocolate material. And um, <clears throat> this particular pattern, I think it would read Tusi Moosey, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but very well, very well painted, a beautiful piece. Uh, this piece lists for, is priced at $85 in our store. You will see a lot of plates. You'll see a lot of platters. Uh, you will see a lot of um, saucers and teacups. Uh, but among those saucers and teacups and plates and platters, you will see lots of different patterns. As a matter of fact, during its uh, tenure from 1920 to 1957, there were over 4,000 patterns uh, that were painted uh, under the Blue Ridge signature. And uh, that's one of the things that makes it pretty popular and very much collectible. Uh, but one thing that I'd like to say is because each of these are hand painted, there's no two pieces exactly the same. Though they may be paint, painted or um, uh, designed in the same pattern uh, or uh, intended to look exactly the same because of their hand painted um, style, uh, it is impossible for them to be exactly the same. Um, here's another. This is a powder box, pretty rare piece. Um, it would be used for makeup back in the day. Uh, this uh, Blue Ridge powder box is listed at $65. Check out all of the beautiful work there, the tulips, uh, a numbered signature on the bottom of that one. <clears throat> uh, this is a leaf platter. Um, this vendor calls it a leaf serving dish. It's got a handle, so it would be used to, to serve. And mind you, in the 40s and 50s, these pieces were used. They weren't just to look at. Uh, they were what was uh, used uh, when the preacher came over on Sunday afternoon or when dignitaries came in or, or when important people sat down at your table. This is what was used because uh, this is what was, was pretty uh, in your time. Uh, now, there were also people who would use other types of pottery that could be considered china, like uh, blue willow patterns, uh, or things like that, or, or, or some of your extremely wealthy individuals would still be using fine china from China, potted by the potters over there. Uh, but Blue Ridge china, especially in eastern Tennessee, is pretty popular. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to note that, uh, again, Blue Ridge pottery was uh, made in Irwin, Tennessee. 
but it was shipped all over the world. There are collections known in France. We have sold pieces of Blue Ridge pottery and shipped it up into Canada, uh, out to Oregon, uh, into um, California. As a matter of fact, there is a truck driver, uh, an, a friend of mine. Uh, his name is um, Bill, Bill Monsier. And he started truck driving in the 50s, and one of his first jobs was hauling Blue Ridge pottery, Irwin pottery, uh, from Irwin to California. It was a very prolific um, economical part of northeastern Tennessee. Uh, so it holds a special place in the hearts of locals, but it also holds a special place in the hearts of those who uh, collect it. So if, if you're looking for something to start collecting, Blue Ridge Pottery is a way to go. Uh, you can purchase and use those pieces. You can purchase and look at maybe some of the higher-end uh, higher pieces. Share your collections on uh, Facebook groups and uh, Facebook pages, those sorts of things. I know annually there is a big gathering of Blue Ridge collectors in Irwin. Uh, so uh, very, very interesting uh, niche to partake in. Um, I like it. I like selling it. Uh, it's not something that we collect at our house because we have small children and they tend to break things. But um, if we can help you on any bit of your uh, Blue Ridge endeavor, we'd be glad to. Uh, if we don't have it, uh, we can probably find it. Uh, if nothing else, swing by and see us and we'll talk about what we do have and uh, maybe we can compare your collection. So Blue Ridge Pottery, the famous little pottery that was made here in East Tennessee. Have a good night.